time for me to come out. It's been pretty hard, right, Mom? Just born and I already weigh more than 40 kilos. Oh, okay, now I'm gonna get up. Woo! I didn't know it was so difficult. Woo! Here we go. Well, you humans take a whole year to learn to walk. And perhaps thanks to my having four legs, I only needed a few hours. Wow, the sun! Why is everybody sleeping? Shall we go for a run? Let's go! I want to gallop! Welcome to my little underground home. I'd like to introduce you to my family. This is my beautiful mommy. This is dad. He has a bit of a temper, but he loves me very much. When he comes back home from his nighttime errands, he never forgets to bring roots, wild fruit, and other goodies for me. Follow me. I want to introduce you to my friends who live in the woods. Do you see this little hole? This is where my cousins, the hedgehogs, live. We look very much alike, and it's easy to mix us up, but there are many differences between us. We porcupines are rodents, exclusively vegetarians, and we can weigh as much as 15 kilos, whereas the hedgehogs are insectivores and love a juicy meat dish. They are born blind, but can easily find their way to their mother's warm milk. Let's leave them in peace as we move on. They are too young to follow us, just like our neighbors, the badgers, who live on the other side of the hill. I'm a little jealous of them because they have a lot of brothers and sisters, always having fun and making noise together while I'm an only child and don't have any siblings to play with. Mommy, please leave those little badgers alone and come and play with me. For us little lynxes, playtime is fundamental because that's how we learn to live and get to know the world. I, for example, am not a good hunter yet, but if I want to eat, I'd better learn fast. These young fawns make delicious snacks, but they are very hard to catch. in a group guarded by several females and one adult male, constantly monitoring the group. The large daddy, with his powerful horns, intimidates all the others around him. Further up, on the rocky mountainsides, the community of the chamois lives peacefully. Experienced mountaineers, they gather in the spring with their families, each one having just a child. The mothers teach the little ones how to perform amazing acrobatics. Their rubbery hooves provide a perfect grip on the rocks. And so, after a little hesitation, they follow the adults without fear. Hi, kids. They call us ugly ducklings. But have they seen mom and dad? We swans are the most elegant birds on the lake. And if we're called ducklings, what do they call the little babies of mother coot? It's breakfast time. Their mom cleans the tender vegetables found in the bottom of the pond. Talk about maternal care. You can't imagine what's going on under there. The young ones of this funny looking fish, the tilapia, have a truly exceptional bodyguard. Their mother is nearly always capable of keeping out any intruder trying to get too close. 
In emergency cases, however, she opens her mouth and keeps them all safe inside there. Then, when the danger is past, she opens her secret refuge and lets her happy ones out again. Hello, friends. I'm the little elephant, the biggest young one living on the land. As a newborn, I was already over 100 kilos in weight. Today, we are taking a bath in the mud. It may look strange, but this is the only way to fight against parasites. The ostriches are giving us funny looks. Perhaps they don't like all the noise we're making. There are almost 40 eggs in the nest they are hatching all together. They also hold an astonishing record, the largest egg and chick in the world. Unlike other birds, they run fast but cannot fly. Anyway, my funniest friends are the restless little monkeys. See what they are capable of doing. What bad manners. What a crowd. I can't even eat in peace. 